welcome to round four of the Parenting Roundabout podcast for the week of August 22nd. I'm Katherine Aleko, and I'm here with Terry Morrow. Hello. Nicole Eredix, professional warrior and obsessor, is away this week, <laughs> uh, but we hope we'll be back soon. Um, so we are going to forge on without her. As moms of teens and young adults, we've survived the little kid days, yet we're still rethinking the decisions we made all through our kids' lives and worrying about what's going on right now. Today's Thursday, which means it's time to give in to our obsessing. And today we, or at least I, am obsessing (laughs) about, it's almost time to go back to school. And it's your last big back to school in the K-12 realm. It is. Oh, it is. Not, back to college is not quite the same. No. I mean, it's it's very... I was actually just saying this to someone yesterday, you know, how how weird it is that, like, a year from now it will be so different, you know? Yeah. Like, and we don't have any... We have very little idea about <laughs> what it's going to be. <laughs> um you know, because my son will be applying to college, but who knows yeah. where he'll end up. And it's just a year is not that long, you know, and yeah. and yet well, it's going to be yeah. a lot happening. <laughs> well, if he's going off to his first day of community college, you could probably still take the picture up from yes, the sign and the school and the back to school outfit. Uh huh. So but probably this is the end of that. Probably yeah, that was when he was in third grade, but still. <laughs> in third grade, he wore Bermuda shorts and a <laughs> blazer, like a sport coat. <laughs> it was awesome because we had gone to Bermuda that summer. <laughs> so he had plaid shorts and he insisted upon wearing, I don't even know why or how he had a jacket, like a, you know, a suit. <laughs> A sport coat, but he did. So he wore that for the first day of school. It was That's adorable. outstanding. And memorable. <laughs> yes. So, so yeah, you know, I mean, I mostly feel like stress and impending doom about oh. school starting, you know, just because it, it has not been, yeah. it has not gone well you know, the past few years. And I just, there's just even more pressure on it being the last year. And, you know, there's no, there's no second chances Mm -hmm. this time. Yeah. So that. Is he feeling that too? Or is he still just doing his thing? I mean, I think he is, but the problem is, you know, can't, you can't talk about it because then that makes it worse. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he is working on the, the musical, so that's exciting. Yeah. Um, and that, that happens, you know, they start rehearsals before school starts. Yeah. And the show goes on pretty early in the school year. Uh-huh. Um, so that's, that's kind of good because, you know, they get it. They get yeah. it done um, before they have to get too, too deep into um, school stuff. Right. So, yeah. Yeah. And before somebody says your grades are bad, you can't do this. Exactly. Right. Which stinks and which I wish they wouldn't do. And yeah. Amongst the many things that I wish were different about the way we do school. But. Right. Yeah. I mean... It's just not, it just doesn't work no. for my particular child as an incentive. Yeah. Um, so. Yeah. It doesn't work as an incentive or a consequence or. Let's take away the one thing you're successful at. Right. There we go. Now you'll do better in these other things. Now you'll do better. Mm-hmm. Like, no, that's not. Yeah. So. Yeah. Senior year. Woo! <laughs> That's rough. Yeah. <laughs> the other day he was going to Target with a friend and I was like, oh, while you're there, you could pick up some folders and, <laughs> you know, <laughs> notebooks. He's like, oh, can I do that another time? <laughs> like, so he's raring to get back to class. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> Can't wait. <laughs> mm-hmm. 
So that yeah. stinks. I mean, senior yeah, year. Yeah, I would like to be like exciting and fun and okay. not. I mean, you've already done your college thing, so there's a little bit less pressure. And I don't know. I yeah. kind of coasted my senior year. Yeah, I, had, I mean, I had taken I've, enough summer school credits that I think I only had to go for half a half a year, mm-hmm. and then I worked in the library and went to choir class. And that right. was pretty much it. Well, yeah, I would like to just you know sort of enjoy the yeah the senior year fun situation, especially because with my other kid, her senior year she was completely ruined yeah. <laughs> by COVID. So. Oh. Yeah, you want him to be able to go back to his old school and work for the kids. Don't yes. blow this man. Do not, man. <laughs> <sighs> so, oh no. So that's what I'm obsessing about. You know, just yeah. trying to walk that very delicate line of like, you have to do this, <laughs> but also <laughs> like no pressure. <laughs> I maybe a little bit. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. So. So that that's, that's where we are. Yeah. Oh boy. Mm-hmm. Can't wait. Can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> I am at that time of year that comes every year where I celebrate not having to send right. kids back to school. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I always thought it was so hard for my kids to like. They're not good with transitions. They're really good with routines. So mm-hmm. we had the transitioning out of school then transitioning into the summer activity then transitioning out of the summer activity then transitioning back to school it was just a nightmare right and now we just do the same thing all year it's right. just long and boring and usual yep on we go with our lives it's wonderful yeah so the only the only back to school issues for us are the return of the traffic next yes door. the school we next have door. the blissful summer of being able to make a left turn out of our cul-de-sac anytime we want mm-hmm. and then, yep yeah is the that. is the marching band back they are having band camp but they are having it at the one of the middle schools because they are completely I'm not sure what exactly they're doing to the what we call the band field. There's a field in the back of the school, which is where the band always practices. So that's why I get the parade all the time, because they march down from the field to the music room, which is right across from my window. Mm-hmm. So this year they can't do it, because I think maybe they're putting turf, artificial turf, on mm-hmm. the band field. They also doubled the amount of tennis courts by, like, completely deleting a little hill. Mm-hmm. It, it's dramatically different. <laughs> so mm-hmm. there's, this, there's the band field and then a gentle slope and then some tennis courts. And they just, you know, chopped the hill off. Wow. Carted it away, removed a few tr- few old, sweet old trees and built a brick wall. So that whole back area is completely under construction. Mm-hmm. And the school's not that far away. Yeah. You might want to get a wiggle on with that stuff, you guys. Right. Uh, but um, they uh, – so they, they couldn't have band camp here. I kept looking at it and going, they can get that done by band camp? Right. Band camp's coming. What nope. are they do for band camp? And then my daughter heard that they were doing it at one of the middle schools. So mm, I don't get the band. Well, the one – August. The one shining light of, <laughs> for this back-to-school <laughs> season is that they are also doing work at our high school um, because they're building a new school. Oh, that's right. And then the – the old high school is going to become a middle school. And ah. so they have been taking this summer to do some work on the existing high school to prepare it to be a middle school uh-huh. in a year. Uh-huh. Um, and they had said that school was going to be virtual for the first couple of weeks um, mm-hmm. because of this construction. And I was, you know, dreading that significantly, <laughs> but, yeah. um, but they're not, they're done, um, or they're going to nice. be done in time. So yeah. they don't have to do that, which thank goodness, yes. because that was not going to be a fortuitous beginning yes. to the school year. So well, we had the last vestiges of, uh, COVID times at the high school was on the back parking lot they had built, This giant, I don't even know what you would call it. It was a giant dome of metal 
with some like white, uh, like nylon stuff stretched over it. Right. Open in the front and cars would drive, yeah, it was open in the front and back. Cars would drive through to get their vaccines or their, mm-hmm. um, tests. You know, back when that was a public thing that one did, you drove over to the high school right. and you drove through the thing. Um, there was a number of different stations, but this one in the back, this huge thing in the back has stayed up mm-hmm. all through a school year. It stayed up, taking up Quite a large number of parking spaces. Right. And it, it, my husband and I walk around the high school quite a lot. And we would always walk by it and we would need jokes because it looked like the entrance to the Stargate. Mm-hmm. You know? Like it looked like a military installation where the aliens were coming through. Right. And, uh, you know, sometimes we would walk through it and go, are we in a different dimension? <laughs> it's still the same place. But it's down. Its uh, its metal skeleton is in piles mm-hmm. on the parking lot, and there's big holes from where they had to dig up the posts. And uh, mm-hmm. so presumably they're going to pave all that stuff over, paint places back on, and it will be as though all that stuff never happened. COVID just never I have happened. Pictures. <laughs> I still have pictures of it. It was quite dramatic mm-hmm. looking, yeah. and uh, it's gone now. Mm-hmm. So that's uh, nothing to see here. Yeah. Nope, nope, nope. Park your car. Go right ahead. That's right. fine. I imagine the people who parked under there when it was snowing will be a little ticked that it's gone, but um, nope. Yeah. It's not quite like it never happened because, again, the huge holes in the parking lot <laughs> planted the posts. Right. Soon they will be gone. Every yes. every uh, worker's vehicle in northern New Jersey is in the back of our high school <laughs> doing stuff. Right. Moving things. Trimming things, Fixing. plucking things, filling things, covering things. Yeah. But yeah, my much time. My son did a summer program that was at a different high school and it they were working on the road mm-hmm. directly in front of this building. <laughs> and it was such a pain, you know, because it you, you could either go at it from you know, the north end or the south end, and sometimes, and you never knew until you drove up to it, which end was going to be open. And so you had to just gamble. And then when you got, you know, you drove like, I don't know, a quarter mile up up this road and then Mm -hmm. found, oh, no, I can't get in this way. Then you have to turn around and go back and make a big loop and go around to the north side or whatever. And Mm -hmm. it was such a pain. And I was like... (laughs) And there's, I drove by there today. They're still working on it. Like, guys, you have like two weeks at the most until yeah. school starts. I mean, this is a Catholic school. They don't even have to, they can start early. Right. So, <laughs> uh, yeah. I, I sure hope for the sake of those parents that they <laughs> fix that because what a giant pain. Because, and it's a high school and a middle school. Oh, geez. And there's only one way in. So, oh. Uh, yeah. yeah, when my kids were in middle school, the to get there, you had to go uh, on a bridge over a highway, mm-hmm. and they were doing construction to that bridge. They were mm-hmm. changing high- things about the highway, so that bridge was under construction for, like, the entire time my two kids were in this middle school, Ugh. and they would, like, close one lane at a time. So yeah. you could, they couldn't close it completely because no, of the right, school, right. and so it would be just all these different traffic patterns, and it was... A nightmare. It was just every day. So ridiculous. What's yeah, it going to yeah. be today? Who knows? Yeah. We'll find yeah. out. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of road construction going on in our town now, too. And we have, like, a high school, a middle school, and an elementary school within about a six-block area. Mm-hmm. So if any of these streets are down, it's pandemonium. Yeah. So please, 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 you guys, finish up. Whatever it is you're doing, finish up and then save the rest for later. Yep. Back to school. Yay. Oh, can't wait. Can't wait. That'll give us lots more topics to talk about, right? That's right. <laughs> well, you anyway. Not me so much. Because we're not going back anywhere. We're just doing the same thing. Yay. Yeah. Routine. You can, you can just hold Ooh. my hand as I go through it. <laughs> go through the final senior year. Oh, boy. All right. Well, we'll, we'll stop obsessing about it for now. <laughs> And say that's it for today's Yeah, that's it for today's round four. Tune in tomorrow when we'll share our roundabout roundup of things we've been using or enjoying lately that we think deserve a shout out. Find all our episodes at parentingroundabout.com and talk back in the comments there on our Facebook page or on Twitter where you'll find us at Roundabout Chat. <laughs>